morning and welcome to another one of the Rasgo's Toolbox Talks. So the topic today is around vehicle placarding, dangerous goods placards and just a quick mention of transport emergency cards again, trim cards which we have covered in a previous episode. So what information do we find on a dangerous goods placard? First of all, it must have what we call the United Nations number, UN number. In this case it's 3082 so each product that is transported will have its own UN number the numbers that we have here are your operator telephone number so the operator is the transport company that information is there you'll see it's a, a landline number and a 24-hour number <clears throat> again here we will have your specialist advice telephone number it's an emergency telephone number in the event of an emergency this is the telephone number that will be contacted all right so here we have what's known as your dangerous goods placard right and the has came diamond uh, telling us that this is a, a class 9 class 9 as we know is, is miscellaneous so this is your hazard class diamond guys um i just also have a training aid here which we which we use when we do our uh, convey dangerous goods by by road transport so this is what guys will actually get in the classroom and it covers a lot of that information one thing that is not on this placard is this small little diamond on the right hand side which is known as a subsidiary risk so it's an additional risk to to the main hazard so un number operator number specialist advice number hazard class diamond and subsidiary risk remember if you've got one trailer you've got three left right and rear if you've got a, uh, a pup it's another three so that'll be six placards right guys come with me right guys um, I've now moved to give you an example of a placard where information is missing because again, just to recap quickly, UN operator, there is no specialist advice telephone number. So you would not be allowed to be on the road legally with a placard like this, okay? I mentioned earlier the, the TREM card. Guys, it's very, very important that you check that the transport emergency card, the information on here, matches what's on your dangerous goods placard. Um, it's imperative that we make sure that it's, it's, it's valid, remember, valid for three years, and it matches this um, information. The two have to speak to each other. I just have another example on this side. So there, there is no specialist advice number, and here is another example where we don't have the operator's number. So again, uh, an example of something that would not be allowed on the roads um, legal. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed that video. I hope you found it useful. Please remember to go and check out all our social media streams, Facebook, Instagram, our website. There's loads and loads of uh, very useful information on there. Um, and please like uh, us at the bottom. Thank you.